Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and welcome to Death Note episode 29. We saw from the last episode Mello now has his hands on one of the Death Notes. Um, in a rather convoluted plot to get away, we saw from an underground base he fired a rocket and a helicopter. And uh, we didn't know which one the, the notebook was on. He ended up, I think, blowing up the helicopter anyway. So, you know, we eventually found it was on the rocket. And then... The, almost the entirety of the um, Kira task force was killed, like, in an instance. And that was kind of like a, a striking thing, because I, I still don't get why. I suppose it's because, again, they've got code names, so, you know, Mello doesn't know the real name of, um, of N, who, you know, I'm assuming also doesn't know the real name of Mello, who they both didn't know the real name of L who didn't know the real name of Kira, who didn't know the real name of L, um, and had to go to Rem to kill him. That rhymed and went around. So, yeah, um, I'm interested to see what happens from this point, because, you know, obviously, what does this leave light with? Because he's now got another rival, um, you know, and another, another Kira. And... What are the police going to do about this? So it's really, it's just all over the place right now. Anyway, let's jump into the episode, guys. We'll find out. Enough chat. Let's react. <laughs> Hi, Ryuk. Of course, we're going to be seeing that other Shinigami as well. Hi, Ryuk. There he is. A weird toilet paper head. Sido, what are you Sido. doing here? Wasn't your notebook? Hey, quit following me. <laughs> I want my notebook. Damn, guess I shouldn't be surprised. Too bad. Things got a little complicated recently. I have no idea where it is. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Look, I told you, stop following me. Then give me back my notebook. <laughs> I like this. I want to see an episode just entirely Shinigami. These are sketches of both of them. We couldn't find yeah, any photos. Pretty accurate. L's successors. So he's now got them. Fighting L they both look like women. First things first. I have to find out where Mello and his mafia associates are hiding themselves. I already had Misa check a list of known mafia syndicates using her Shinigami eyes. Look, I found him! I can't see his lifespan. He's number 105. They have him listed as Jack Nalon, but his real name is Cal uh, Snyder. Cal He's Snyder. It's a notebook that kills people. Hell, nothing surprises me anymore. <laughs> Boss, who is this? The guy in the freaky costume. Who the hell is he? <laughs> freaky Who's costume. Here? I came here on my own. I'm actually a. God's got some zombie. weirdly a weird arms. <laughs> looks like an owl with a bee's nest on his head. Crazy. Pass the notebook around so they can see me too. Uh, he says you can see him if you touch the notebook. Uh, please, everyone, touch it. I swear <laughs> I'm not crazy. <laughs> I like this. Come on, guys. Touch the notebook. You <laughs> <laughs> can't kill it. It's a Shinigami. Nice try. You humans can't kill a Shinigami. <laughs> Jack's right. That ain't no costume. That's a real live Shinigami. So now what do we do? You're screwed. Was he aware that these two rules were false? If he yep, did, he made them. He could have used these rules to his advantage. In particular, the 13-day rule would have allowed him to prove his innocence in only 13 days. He's gonna... He's gonna find out his lies, isn't he? Go keep watch outside. It'll be very convenient for us that you can't be seen by humans. What? Go outside and keep watch. Got it? <laughs> What's with this guy? He's human. But he's scary. Oh. Is Shinigami scared of a human? I don't like the idea of following Kira's plan, but it's our best option. Exactly. <laughs> oh, they can all see Ryuk. But still, knowing the time of death for these guys isn't going to be enough for us to make our move. Ide, 
I think we both know what needs to be done. We get the Shinigami to follow us in, and then we do the deal for the eyes and make sure they're all dead, right? Who's doing the deal for the eyes? I will make the deal for the eyes. <sighs> no oh. way, Chief! Let me be the one to do it! I was responsible for handing over the notebook in the first place. Since that moment, I've been unable to live with what I've done. I've even thought of killing myself. I'll use the notebook to kill any criminals who try to stop us. Wow, that is fucked days, up, Light. I'll you getting your dad to give up half his remaining life? If dad writes a name in the notebook, then when the time comes... He can't go to heaven or hell. Are you really going to condemn your dad to a turn to your purgatory? Is everybody ready to move? Light, you're fucked up. Roger. All right, Deputy Director, make the ideal with the Shinigami. All right, Ryuk, I'm ready. Sure thing, boss. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that going to be disturbing that you know how long his family have left to live? I gave you. Can you see their names and lifespans? Yes, I can. He doesn't have long left. Their names should disappear soon. That's your cue. Surely their lifespans should show up as being very short because they're about to die. Is that how it works? I mean, they're all different there. Um, they're all dead. What authority the Japanese police have in Los Angeles, anyway? Well, that's the original notebook. Two of the criminals. We've also been able to secure the notebook. We'll begin with drawing now. Not yet. Keep going. We still haven't found anyone who resembles our picture of Mello. That means he must be hiding somewhere in the building. We've come this far. Let's finish this. Do a yeah, thorough don't let him go. There's a body on the ground right there. Oh! What was that? An explosion! Don't move. I've already blown up the two entrances to this place. This will be your only warning. The next explosion will take out the entire building as well as all your men inside. So you better do as I say. <laughs> it's mellow. Yagami <laughs> hmm? me again, huh? Maybe I should have killed you when I had the chance. History repeats itself. But he's seen his name and his lifespan. Years that I'd be bargaining for the notebook with you again. M I H A E L K E E. Mile Kiel. Yagami. Don't move. I've written your first name, and it will only take me a second to write your surname. Oh you man! Idiot! Just write it. Kill him. Why is Light I'm not? Truly sorry. Why isn't Light right? For what it's worth, I give you my word that I never wanted to kill you. Light, why don't you just kill him? You've never killed someone before, have you? <gasps> no. Gunfire? Oh crap. Is he still alive? Shoot him! Deputy Director! It's all over, Mello! Put your hands up and surrender! Just shoot him! Oh, is he gonna cave the building in? Yeah. Holy shit! 
Has he just taken out the entire police squad? And your dad's dead. Damn it. After all that, he got away? That's why you should have just killed him. He's showing no emotion about his dad dying. Or is he dead? Yes. Don't tell me you're still worried about that, Chief. Uh, of course he's not dead. God, he's... I uh, guess well, he's, he's fought that out well. So much, dad. That's important, but I've got bigger things to do. But he better not right see now. me, sir. I've got to get him to write Mello's name in the notebook. Did you not hear the name? I'm so sorry, but in the end, I couldn't do it. I couldn't bring myself to kill him. I can't just come out and say it's not too late. No, wait, maybe I can. It all depends on how I do it. No one huh. would think it's weird if His I His dad's lying there dying, and all he can think of is how do I get him? Dad, write his name! You can't let him beat you like this! God. So it was all for nothing. I'm sorry for your loss. Dad! Wake up! Come on, damn it! Don't you die on me, you idiot! Dad! Why do I feel like this is all a fake front? Did that happen because he got the eyes? Was that did he not have very long left to live anyway? So he lost Light's dad. Um wow. And Light is such a sadistic bastard now. I mean I know he was before, but now it's like another level. He wasn't even that sad that his dad died. I mean, his dad got shot and all he could think about was writing his name in a notebook. His dad was lying on his deathbed and all he could think was writing the name in the notebook. You know, he's lost any semblance of being a human. Um, and, you know, he's fully transformed into Kira. You know, Light Yagami is dead and Kira is the one in charge. He's very lucky that he didn't own the notebook. I, did, I forgot about, you know, people who have the eyes being able to tell who has a notebook. So if this was me, I'd, I'd have failed already, to be honest. I wouldn't have got to this stage anyway. Um... So basically, everyone on both sides, realistically, have been killed, other than Mello and Nia. Um, you know, Mello's henchmen are all dead. Nia's Kira squad, all dead. So where does that leave us? We didn't see Nia at all this episode. Um, but I, I really want more on the Shinigami. I want to see more Shinigami. I want to see the Shinigami King. Um, I'm trying to remember, because... So, there are, am I right in thinking there are three notebooks? But I don't know where the third one came from. We had um, the first one, which was obviously the very first episode. The second one, which was Rems, which was given to Misa. Um, and the third one, I'm guessing, is the one that... Um, well, I'm assuming that Ryuk had two at the very beginning, but I thought he kept one. So did he give one to someone else? Because I assume that when um, when Light gave up his notebook to lose his memories, I assume that he had it buried. Um, and then Mises was sent to the corporation. I can't remember the name. Unless at that point was there a third one introduced. It's, so, it's a little bit confusing with the death notes themselves. I can't remember fully. So, yeah. But man, that was a... Uh, I mean, it hasn't really hit me that, um, you know, is it, I can't remember his first name, but I'm, I'm just going to call him uh, Chief Yagami. Uh, he's dead. You know, I thought he had like a Kevlar vest on because the way he was taking those bullet shots didn't really look like he was getting shot at all. So yeah, and I, I thought I thought the entire um, task force was dead when he blew up the building. Um, that was crazy. So I guess we'll just have to see what happens in the next episode. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you liked it. I'll see you for the next episode.